There are many different countries on the earth, but truly one of the most picturesque is Scotland, the autonomy of Great Britain. Scotland is a cold, foggy and rainy country, which, however, does not lose its charm. Here, people breed animals on their farms. They also breed the sheep, of course. But I came to this world not on the farm at all. About this a bit later. DNA is a macromolecule. In other words, a molecule with a large molecular weight, which store and process and also helps to transmit hereditary information. In the cell, DNA is stored in the nucleus as part of chromosomes, as well as in other its components. Knowledge of DNA underlies many sciences, such as, for example, biology, biochemistry, chemistry, genetics. The last science of those mentioned is very young. It began its development in the second half of the 20th century. Thanks to this science, genetic engineering has appeared, which I owe my existence to. Although it was not long, genetic engineering is a biotechnology tool which makes various manipulations with genes using knowledge of DNA. The idea of cloning is the foundation of genetic engineering, which has even been embodied. Did you guess who I am? I am Dolly the Sheep, the first animal that was created by cloning. As you could already guess, I was born in Scotland. However, not on a small and cosy farm at all, but in a science lab. At first, I didn't even have a name, but only a number. However, one of the veterinarians who participated in the procedure suggested naming me in honour of the singer Dolly Parton, who liked to focus on her impressive bust, due to the fact that the cell using which I was created was an udder cell. Today, I will tell you about my short, but interesting, because of its beginning, life. How did I come into the world? There are several types of cells, among which are stem, somatic, and gametes. It sounds very scary and unclear, but I will explain everything. Stem cells are those cells which appear even before all the other cells in the human body. They are the beginning of the beginnings of all cells and tissues in the body. With somatic cells, everything is simple. These are the cells that make up our body, and gametes are cells involved in reproduction. That is, germ cells. So, in order to carry out the experiment, the result of which I became, the scientists Jan Wilmot and Keith Campbell needed exactly the somatic cells of my mother. Taking the udder cell of this sheep, they placed it in the egg of another sheep that gave birth to me. So I was born. By the way, we can say that I have two biological mothers, and I am a complete genetic copy of one of them of the one that donated a somatic cell to me. My birth was kept secret for seven months until the most prestigious biological journal, Nature, published the news about it. What the headlines were in the newspapers back then? Dolly the sheep, a miracle or a monster, three mothers and not a single dad. How is this possible? All these headings did appear. Literally the whole world trumpeted about my birth. Everyone discussed it. For a while, I became a real star. Many argued whether this experience was ethical or not, whether it was right or not, but they didn't come to anything. I do not know if this is right or not, I'm just a sheep. The fact is that after my birth, I lived six years more, when an average sheep life is 12 years. But what a life it was! I gave birth to five lambs, and generally lived without any problems. Only four years later, it became very hard for me to walk. Everything hurt terribly. It turned out that I have arthritis. They saved me from arthritis, but the lung cancer, they didn't. After that, the world remembered me again. Some scientists were saying that my origin was the cause of my illness, while the others denied this. But it doesn't really matter. I'm very glad that my life was useful for the scientific community and for the world in general because this is a serious step in the development of science, and science is the engine of modern society. Yes, before me, there were animals that were cloned. However, they were cloned using germ cells, whereas I am the result of cloning using ordinary somatic cells. I'm glad that this has become a movement forward, because after me, many more animals were cloned in a similar way. Although animal cloning is possible, human cloning is prohibited worldwide because its safety has not been proven yet. And what amazing biological facts do you know? Write about this in the comments. You can also write about what non-fiction videos you would be interested to watch. Liked our video? Like, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bells to always stay tuned.